Welcome everyone, this is Shadow Drake, and we are going to continue trading. Or making a mess. And I have my little egg right here. It's going to eventually hatch. I almost want to stay here and watch it hatch. But we need to make money. And I also need to fix up the way I do some things here. So let's see here. Furnace is good over here. Um, I need to go on ahead and more water. Did it just move? Ah, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Why am I hatching the xenomorph? I'll be honest, I don't know why I'm hatching the xenomorph. I'm trying to think a little bit while I'm kind of here too. Uh. Electrum solder. Let's see. Where'd all my ingots go? Okay. Steel sheets. Solder. Silicon. Constantin. Okay. So I need to build this. Little chicky! Little chicky! Sorry, those things are so cute, but they they make a huge problem when they grow, so I need to kind of check in on this every now and then. Uh, let's drink a little bit of water. Let's see where I'm at. That's good. Where's my beacon? All right, let's get let's get a little bit of mining done. Let's close my helmet before I kill myself. Oxygen critical. All right. So I need to get I need to be able to build quite a bit of stuff. So. Let's go this direction. I wanted to just begin building a little bit more and expand the base, but I think I need to plan out how I'm going to upgrade my landing pad. And for that, I need I need to really plan out. Oh, that didn't last long. I really need to plan out the space because if I'm going to build a 5x5 five five trader space. I need to plan out a 25 grid. I also need to build a medium dish. I gotta remember I don't have a jetpack. I can't just fly out. Okay, you know what? Let's get this. Let's get this, this, this. I don't know if I'm gonna even use this cobalt, but you know what? Let's get it anyways. I might sell it, I might not. Because I can't make super alloys with a basic furnace. This is it's beautiful the way that looks. Ooh, that's quite a bit of gold. That's a lot of money I can get out of this. So I think what I need to do is sell a bunch of valuable resources and then I need to stockpile some resources for the expansion because I I have more than enough space and materials that I should be able to expand another 4x4 on the base because I did say that I was going to build mushroom support which I will and what comes with that is that I also need to build move my, relocate my doors because I think I need to move my 5x5 five five to a corner and put a 3x3 three three kind of close to my door. I need to be careful about that. That could actually hurt me. Oops. Okay, get that ready. So, 
Silicon is good to sell. But while I'm expanding, the idea is I'm, I'm going to try to fill up my backpack with iron, copper, gold, silicon, and yeah. Smell a full set of each of them. Because I need to. I need to smelt them so that I have some resources for building. Because I, I will need to plan and make a bunch of shoots. I need to plan and upgrade my printers. And overall, it's just all going to be necessary. Because right now, it's going to be a lot of manual stuff. Because I really, really need to... I, 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 if I can get access to the 5x5 traders, luck out and get a good one. Have an extra landing pad so that I can land two different traders and actually test that out. I would love to test that out. So in total, I need to build 25, 26 landing pad basics. 26 because I have to build a landing pad thing. And then I got to check around to see how I can mess with that. Like, do I call one medium tier and then the other one small pad? And then, depending on how I do it, I need to actually plan to have, you know, maybe maybe I'll get two 5x5s, five or maybe I'll need to upgrade my 5x5 five five into a 7x7 seven seven plus a 15 runway. At least temporarily, you know. Oh, I need to dig myself out of this hole. There we go. I'm actually kind of liking the whole no jetpack thing. And Vulcan, I probably wouldn't do that because I'd be roasting myself alive. You've seen in between the shots how I just basically began the next video and my equipment got progressively worse and worse and worse and worse. And I really should have put the uh, some coal in the generator. Oh boy, gotta be careful. I don't know how I will do the pneumatic drill, thinking about it. Because I could, I could suck in oxygen, but then I won't be able to use any oxygen unless it was warmed up to like at least... Oh, that's... This is a hole. You know, past the freezing temp. And actually, I started thinking about this. So, volatiles. Negative one. Negative one. Forty. Negative one fifty. So I can get quite a lot of volatile fuel mix. And oxygen. It's the same with oxygen. It occurred to me that I could actually get a bunch of volatiles, push them into a liquid a liquid tank, and have a radiator. Just cool them down. You know, rapid rapidly cool them down. And if I do that in here. And if I do that, I can prepare myself for rockets. Like, I would need two separate... <coughs> I would need two separate oxygen tanks and volatile tanks. Uh, how I'm planning on this is probably going to have a tank of volatiles that I'm just, you know, going to crush ice and filter it there. When I do that, I will have volatiles that I can use to mix specifically for NOS fuel. Because, you know, I can't just let let it cool down and expect that things will go well. It just won't. Really won't. I just got myself more water eyes. The same point here, I am generating quite a bit of water ice. Coal, I like coal. I need to put a full 50 stack and just run it constantly because I have a feeling that I will 
run out of power on my thing. Ooh. Don't need nitrice yet. Alright, how far am I from the base? Not very far. See, this is the weird thing about me. When I go mining, I somehow make circles around my base. I don't know how I do it, but I just kind of end up doing that. And that's how I get lost stupidly fast and stupidly easy. Because, you know, I'm supposed to be going out one direction. Next thing I know, I've been running in circle around a specific spot. And then I think, oh hey, let me just go back to my base. Why does nothing look familiar? Next thing you know, I'm lost and I'm freaking out. I think that will be... I need to make money so that I can buy those alloys. Because I want to make an advanced tablet. I want to make a tracking beacon. I want to do that. And then I want to do the expansion. And start thinking about how to... Get a 5x5 trading pad. Plus a medium. You know, it might, I might actually just have to do that first. Just literally expand. Just going ahead and do my initial expansion. Okay. Volatiles. That's cool. Ooh. Lots of volatiles. I'm going to need it eventually. I might as well get some. stop getting some because I, I really need to just sell stuff like I have not gotten any copper almost any copper and look I just found a good chunk of copper right here so let me just stop getting volatiles grab a little bit more and this coal here is going to be my emergency stash just in case I really screw up and let my base batteries get low Particularly, I I want to get I want to get my power system set up, and so I do want to make a little ex expansion. I want to have like maybe ten large batteries. I want to go on ahead and get a little bit of uh, wind turbines, attempting to charge them. And I think once I do that, I will be very stable in power. You know, once another storm happens. I see my, that my day counter is working. I don't think I got the day counter mod that was that uh, someone in the Discord made. I downloaded it, but I never really installed it. So it, it like it's zipped, so it shouldn't be doing anything. And so it's good to have, if that's the case, it is good to have that working because I can count on wind power. If I can get my uh, wind turbines up, my power situation settled, I will have a lot of station batteries that can be used to, that I can then route. But again, a lot of heavy cabling that that has to go with. No, I was really hoping for that so that I could see where my silicone is. Look, more ice, ice. I need to start making my way back, so let's go a bit over here, and look, more water ice. And that's silicon. I'll take that. And oxide ice. And that's kind of why I want to, when I expand to the next side, I want to smell a lot of iron and a lot of everything. Because, you know, in the middle of warming up that stuff, I have a very hot furnace. I might as well do what I can. I guess I've been here before. I might as well get some extra copper because I know I'm going to need it. Might as well get some gold, some silicon, all that stuff. Start doing the thing where I just start splitting and filling all my kits. And honestly, if I can get the atmospherics process, and I can just get, you know, like my uh, liquid tanks, start getting 
drawing some oxygen in them to condense, starting to get some volatiles in there. I can realistically actually get some liquid fuel setups going. So that once I have properly have the base, uh, once the base has been properly set up footprint wise, I can go on ahead and figure out where I could build a rocket and actually think about sending rockets up to mine more volatiles or water, bring it back. Because that is a thing. And you know, the, the having those gases will open up different avenues of power generation and all of that stuff. And so this could actually be evolve into something very, very heavy in regards to how I choose to manufacture. Okay, where am I? This way. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted. That's almost dead. Getting distracted. Getting distracted. Oh, there's my base. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no, no, whoa, that's bright. I'll have to make a proper airlock, but let me see what I got to work with. So, if if I may expand that four by four, I can get rid of this airlock. If I change this to a, f I could change this to a five by five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That mountain there is going to be potentially a problem. But I can just make it come from that way. I will want to put my medium. I think what I'll end up doing is this spot right here. I'll go on ahead and fill in and close and go on ahead and put my medium satellite dish here and all that stuff set up. Let's go on ahead and stick you in here. I doubt that I have much power. And then I'll go on ahead and build a 5x5. Five five. Now. When I expand this to be a 4x4, four four, that's uh, scary. Some evaporation. Oh, I actually need to worry about that. Okay. When I expand this, I need to build another airlock. That other airlock will be f strictly for. Okay, going ahead and slot some more water ice. Oh boy. I got two of them. Okay, I really need to keep an eye on them. I may have doomed myself. Anything that isn't used up, I can go on ahead and... That was quick. Literally was not very long. lot of steel. Let's go ahead and buy all this out. Very expensive. Wow, I am down to literally nothing again. I gotta go back mining some more. Okay.
Okay. Weird. Okay. I need the steel and the electrum. Okay. So let's get that out. I'm gonna need the Envar in here. Solder. Electrum. Hydration critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bought steel. Worst case, if these things start getting overrun, I'll just enclose that wall and just open that up. I bought Electrum, didn't I? Let's get these ores out. I know I bought Electrum. I'm a dummy, I already put it in, didn't I? Look, just stick all that in there. Hello, Bok Bok. Okay, that's one piece of food gone. It's workable. I have chickens. They're gonna generate stuff for me. Just to keep myself safe. Okay, got that done. Ah. Uh, Pad basics is gonna need copper. I don't have any copper in anything but here. 180 divided by 5. 180 divided by 5. It'll be to my best if I. Uh, gotta leave that alone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, eggs for some reason don't really give anything. Okay. So, what else can I sell? Okay. I bought everything from him. Some iron, copper, silicon, gold, cobalt. Alright, cool. Let's do this. All right, let's pick a direction. Let's actually just drill this out too. The fact that I gotta remake my airlock is gonna be the kind of the tricky thing too because I, I want to have a little bit more space. Ooh, well, that'll get me something worse. It'll be to my best that I actually get a good chunk. Get a little bit more money out of that. Because if building shows up, I really need to buy more stuff. But having a hundred of those basic alloys is going to help at the, right now. So, if... Let's go here. Uh, 
I hate how this is just really random where it ends up with. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Iron, copper, gold, silicon, full stacks, and then a few more stacks of something just to sell. Good silicon. Because I really do need to make and start printing out as much as many things as I can. I won't be able to truly, fully make a lot of things, but the more I can make, like if I were to make a lot of insulated piping, start making tanks, you know, the, the more often I can do this stuff, do that, the better overall it will be for me, because it will take, it takes time to set everything, but it also takes time to build it all. else here. Ooh, more silicon. That's good. And uh, one of the things I'm concerned with is silicon, because I'm going to burn through it. Because I do intend to build insulated tanks to hold my gases. Like, I do need to warm up some oxygen. I need to, so that way I can make healthy base mixes. Or actually have a tank of oxygen to just warm up. Probably through phase change related devices. Oh, come on. Am I in a hole again? Let's get out of this hole. That was iron. Because I will need to do phase change related heating, more than likely. Get some oxygen and stuff to warm up. Probably will need to... I'm thinking that if, if I make a huge insulated tank of water, fill it up, and just warm it up to insane degree temperatures, I can use that as kind of like a pseudo heating element thing. Probably that might end up working better. All right, let's let's do this. Silicon down here. The silicon I'll keep. Iron down there that I'll keep. And you know, like I, I was trying to think if I will if I were to make hangar bays, you know, even for like different tiers, because I do want to delve into trading gases. You know, just it's probably going to be really really bad. Like just bad and horrible, like, why are you even doing this type of bad? Did I make this hole? It looks like it would be a hole I make. Like, I could go into trading gases, and I know European, European, uh, European, this is, this is European. Europa oxygen is something that I'm, that's gonna sell for little, but it should be something that would always be sold, because after all, there are traders that require just oxygen top-ups. It's not a lot of money. But I can always pump it in and sell it. I mean, make and sell whatever I can, you know? I'm just gonna leave you. I just need to get specifics. Like, I, I need copper, I need gold, I don't need volatiles. I will need them soon. Like, I would need a large insulated tank of uh, volatiles. And I know that's that's excessive. That sounds very excessive, and it probably is. But I, I need to have a steady amount that I can kind of keep an eye on, that I can mix freely, because I, I haven't really decided if I am going to be use I, I know I'm going to use GFGs. It's stupidly easy to get them going in Europa. Probably going to use GFGs and Sterlings, but I want to tie them to large batteries and use them as buffers to charge other systems. And 
I was wondering if I should use NOS fuel for them. But the thing about that, using NOS fuel, is I need nitro nitrous oxide is not a very easy to get solution. I I just need to get a lot of volatiles. And I have free literally free Europa oxygen to go with. Like I can just mix my fuel. Okay, I have a full stack of copper right here. Full stack of iron. No. I have some copper to sell, which is good. Oh my, how did I get in this hole? Without a jetpack, this is really awkward. Come on, gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out. Where's the exit? There's the exit. Oh no, no, I don't want to get more volatiles yet. Alright. Where am I? I'm not even very far from the base. Wow. That's right. There was the little cobalt deposit that was really close to my base. I just realized I still had an oxygen low up. Find some gold. Golden coal. Golden coal. Golden coal. I can sell some coal. Don't want to get out of that silver. Because it looks like I actually will need to go on ahead and expand. Meanwhile, my chickens are probably breeding. And I'll have to just actually close up the base and just, you know, kill them. Freeze them to death. There's gold. Yes. Some gold. This is a huge difference from halfway from part one, where this this was just a huge struggle to get resources. There's gold. There's some more. Honestly, right now the only thing that could help this is if I can get the alloys. I can just go ahead and make the sensor lenses. Darn it. so that I can find the ores I want to sell much faster. So let's just be honest. There's a lot of copper I can sell right here. And I am... Oh, silicon. Good. This is a good vein right here. Copper to sell. Why is my mouse so weird right now? Oh, perfect. Okay, I need to dig myself out again. Just dig up. Unless I'm in the mountain. There we go. Okay, perfect. Didn't get a lot of gold. Still need to get some gold. It's nitrice. Because, <laughs> you know, nitrice is going to be a weird thing. Because I could... Oh, perfect. There's some coal to sell. Mix with some silver. Honestly, silver is one of the best things to sell. Silver and nickel... Because you just get so much of it when you mine it. Oh. I'm making a lot of dirty batches right now. I think I've been here before. Let's head back. 
I think I need to expand and I need to keep an eye on the chickens. And also I'm thirsty. Look, there's some nickel. It's funny, I have not found any nickel at all for a while. But I have some stuff to smelt, some stuff to sell. Quite honestly. You know, I, I have to keep building up. Am I going the right way? No, I was not going the right way. There's my base. How many chickens do I have? Why did I... Why did he even make them? I don't even know. I think I'm insane. But I'm going to go on ahead and lay the groundwork. I need to print out more stuff. Yep, I got three of them. Uh, it's not good. Okay. I think I am going to put these in here. Sell them and send them away so that I can re-roll. Because he's already kind of booked out. And as you see, I can't sell any more. So, go away. Oh, building. Let's get you. So seventy. See, this is also why I want to get that medium. There we go. Sixty five, that got better. This is why I want to get the medium dish. And I think after that I will forty six. Would this get better if I go up? Looks like it did. Thirty four, yep. It's kind of helpful because I don't, I, I really don't know how many steel frames and walls and stuff that I got left. I don't need iron frames. I need wall kits. Okay. Okay. You and... I don't, I don't think I want to do... do those. I'll grab some just in case. Don't have enough materials, but see this water replenishment, you know. Five liters of water. I can pump plenty of water into him and get quite a lot of money back. And even the fuel mix right here. 500 moles of fuel that I could easily make get 100 bucks back. Anything makes money. So let's 
check out my chickens. I might actually have to enclose them and just vent them. Meteor munchies. I saw something. Galactic growers. A little bit of oasis. Cosmic cuisine. That's nothing right now. Okay. Well, I mean, I would need to. I will need those eventually. Yeah. And then I need the steel sheets, which I have some right here. Should be somewhere right here. All right. Uh, Mark Welder does not have a tool. Okay. All right. Time to go expand because I want to get the mushrooms. Want to get the mushrooms. How, how good are my chickens right now? Chicken, chicken, and chicken. They're healthy. See, my power usage actually kind of goes a little crazy when I let the water heater thing go. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. Perfect. So the plan is to have mushrooms growing right around here somewhere. So I need to have like a wall, wall, kind of like a corner wall set up right there to kind of keep them in the dark. to make sure I do that so because if I do this and this and this and that I think I can have actually no there we go yeah There we go. It's gonna look a little odd for now, but it's... My intention is that I am going to... Okay, need some more walls. I mean, my intention is going to be that I, let's check, make sure there's no fertilized eggs. None. Good. There we go. Gonna poop any eggs out? Nope. Okay, good. Gas for less, galactic growers. Stellar supplies. Ooh, that's in my way. Pretty bad.
have to put up these walls just yet. Alright, so, problem, I did it again. Forgot to bring everything I needed. This allows me to check on the chickens. And drop off junk I don't need. Oh, crap, crap, crap. No! Okay. <laughs> I need to stop their breeding. See, this is why they're an infestation. They really will just keep reproducing, so... <sighs> Leave them alone for a little while longer. Perfect. I think it's wrench first. Wrench, then welder. Now it's done. Okay. Start with the hardest to smell. Silicon. Hunger caution, I get it. The odd thing about this is I think I'm just going to split this iron into two stacks. The copper, I think I'll put 150. Strict, I'll get 50. And then get 150. The 50, I think I'm just gonna put in the, uh. Whatchamacallit? Auto lathe? I don't think I'll need a lot of iron, but just having some will be helpful. All this gold, however, is going to go into the electronics because I'm just not going to deal with that. Okay, I'm concerned. Did that actually... going to hopefully prevent that from losing energy. So what I want to do is probably build a new airlock right around here. Or probably I'll build it on that side and then just, you know, not really worry about it too much.
So it still takes roughly about the same amount of time. Because, I mean, if you think about it, I did mix my base with a lot of oxygen. Look, no more no more loss due to radiation. But, I mean, it, it, the, the fact that I am radiating almost, what, 26 kilojoules of thermal energy is actually really flippant. less and less energy. Well, technically it's being convected in there. It's almost good enough. I mean, just look. Look how fast it kind of creeps up. So if I had like a second furnace, you know, turn two of them on, this will probably be much faster at warming up the room. But this at least works for impromptu, get it warm, get it fast. And so long as I have extra... Expands my living area a bit. Alright, how are my chickens doing? Too many. Fifty. This will go into this one. Let's go ahead and start printing landing pad basics. this. There. 
now I can start growing mushrooms. Always grow one at a time. See if it'll be affected. Five, that's ten, fourteen, that's... Hunger critical. I know, hunger's critical. There's food here somewhere. Well, that water bottle has some water. Off it goes. Okay. Sorry, chickens. Gotta do damage control. Didn't take long. But, looks like I got to. Cosmic Crush, Boy Vapor, Stellar Steam, Over at Aura Aces. That's not gonna help. So the chickens are in here. Is this cruel? Yes. But <laughs> it's the only way I can deal with the infestation right now. Okay. While I'm out here. So, I am going to need to expand that. And like I said, I need to get another airlock. Because I am going to completely change this area into my large satellite dish pad. So if I'm going to make this my 5x5, five five, and then I'm going to build another 3x3 three three right here. This needs to be moved over here. So I think the best thing to do is to build this little junction right here. There on this ice. I'm going to go on ahead and build the airlock first, because I might as well build it, get a furnace to warm up that tiny little spot, or then build the furnace in that area. And then get it all powered up as soon as possible. And I don't really mind that I'm building a lot of pads. I really don't mind that right now. Because I, I do need them built. Because I, I do want to build two separate areas for calling down traders. One thing I will need, though, is I might as well go ahead and get this coal. Because I'm going to still need to keep powering my base. So get it. This iron, I might as well just smelt it. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well go out and look for something. Don't go high, because I don't have a jetpack. I will not be able to save myself from a suit injury. Oh, look at that gold. Stuff. 
I might actually need to do that event uh, soon. Build a build my suit pack so that I can actually withstand that. Because I do need to print a bunch of heavy cables. That's why I started smelting stuff. I actually probably do need to smelt some more. Because again, I'm going to need a lot of silicon. I'm going to need a lot of everything. And having access to the medium traders, you know, at least a 5x5, five five, I can expand it to a 7x7. Seven seven. I just need to expand it smartly. Actually... Yeah, I just need to expand it smartly. And the one in the corner over there is going to be the easier one to expand. Because it's not going to be as restricted yet. Oh, why are you always over there? I'm not going very far from the base. Because I, I did not leave the tracking beacon on. I will get myself lost in a heartbeat. And then I am as good as dead because the sun is out right now. And I lucked out last time because I was... I decided to be out and about. When the sun was rising. And then all of a sudden, boom, just was not there anymore. Let's go back. It's turning dark. I can see that just fine. Check out my chickens. Oh, perfect. I get an egg. I can store this, and I still have a chicken egg for making eggs. Okay, so now I need to build the airlock materials. I should probably call them down. Do something with them. Worse. Yep, that's worse. That's so bad. I think Astral Emporium is the original. Oh, hey, look. Another. Twenty, thirty. Okay, perfect. I need twenty-five exactly to make a larger pad. So let's just tell this to make some heavy cables, because I'm gonna need them. I'm gonna have to completely reroute how this goes. Ooh, that's in my way. Why is that so bad? I 
blow. I'm using my trick with the medium. It should be significantly better, so we'll see where that is. At. This is kind of why I was saying I need the mediums, because uh, I'm going to start using up a lot more power. Sterling point 44. Okay. Let's see, is that better? That looked better. Meteor Munchies. That was worse. Cosmic Tools. 44. Forty two. So it might be a fact. Thirty-seven. Okay. I would love that. I'm just curious, while I'm trying to get Astral Emporium, can I sell anything to gas for less? 60. Oh, I can sell Isis to you. That's interesting. See what I mean? Bulk oxygen. If I warm up a lot, I can get $173 off of lots of oxygen. I didn't know that they would take my Isis. Hmm. Water is $1.50. Nitrice is a dollar. See, they're unconscious chicken or a dead chicken. Okay. Iron silicon. So let's see. What do I need for doors? Copper. I need to start putting lights. Sensor. Two active ants. Passive insulated vents. Power low. It's not that bad, to be honest. You might as well insulate it. And I'm just gonna use its regular pipes. Oh, my helmet's been closed this whole time.
mushrooms. Thriving. Good. I think we'll leave you there because I'm gonna bust open the wall right there. Okay. Ooh, I need iron in there. That's the one that didn't have iron. <clears throat> Console. And now I'm going to need uh, APC. Power controller. Get her a power to this thing. I, I can make an airlock script, but at this point, I'm just going to try to be a little bit careful with what I'm programming and making. Just because I don't want to accidentally just kind of screw myself over. Okay. I'm just going to smelt that. But this leaves me ready for another mining trip, because I do need to do that too. All right. Oh boy. Trying to kill myself, I guess. Mm. So, if I were to put an APC here... I think I want it jutting out, so... has a stronger battery. I think this will work right there. Okay, so if I were to... I think if I were to enclose this, like this. I do want to enclose this, but I think I want to put the APC right here to be fed from in the base. We. frames anymore. I don't need... Oh, come on. Don't need frames. Don't need the wall. Okay. Let's get the doors. What did I do with the doors? Let's get you two. They're right here. They're still alive. 
It's amazing. Where's the APC? I don't have any steel. I can buy some more steel. What am I doing? I didn't need to buy more steel. I mean, I always will need steel because I have to make insulated pipings. But I should make some extra large batteries. What was I doing again? And an APC. So I need to install the doors, so I need to just I need to install the APC so that it's isolated. There we go. Okay, got it. and stick you in there. Close you up. There we go. Not going to lock you up just yet because I do need to warm you up and then I can enclose you fully. It's perfect. Do some finagling. Get that there. Get that there. I need my vents, my pass events, and that'll. All this just to move a door. Crashed on the wall. Then I gotta go mining again. Ugh. But I need to do this so that I can expand and put my larger stuff. 13 days have passed. I haven't even set up a better power system yet. Oh, come on now. Cables and I already had cables right there. Pipes, 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 pipes. Okay. Look at that. You see what I mean? Literally, that second egg was not there. They pooped out an egg. They can survive the cold. Discuss the show. Just, they're just little demons. Okay. Active fence. Okay. First, let's see how well this goes.
Yeah, it's going to provide a little bit of cooling, but... Now I got that. Now I just need the the labeler, which I have, but I need the advanced airlock. How many eggs are there? Advanced airlock chip. This way I can completely delete this. I think I need to flatten that area. Yeah. Yeah, because I need to flatten this area and build a 5x5 landing pad trading assembly right there. No. I need to build a 3x3 assembly right here. And the 5x5 five five that way. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. That's what I was supposed to do. But I need to get some money first because the last thing I want to do is do that. I have no money whatsoever. And you know what? I forgot it. The data pad. Because I'm going to set it up. I. I need the data pad. I will need this. Okay. I'm gonna go on ahead and eat and drink. Where's the data pad? Oh lord, where is the data pad? Somewhere. There you are. There's such an art to all of this. Low pressure. Oxygen Whoops. Critical. Pressure critical. Temperature critical. Low pressure. Exterior door, exterior vents, interior vents, interior door. Power low. That's not connected? How did I not connect this? Oh my that's 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 embarrassing. That is very embarrassing. Exterior vent, gas door, exterior door, interior door, no. Okay. I forgot the furnace. I forgot the furnace. I'm gonna smelt a little bit more. Uh, 
form up that spot, and then wall it up and break in there. I made so many heavy cables because I'm going to run a heavy cable way out here. I'm not going to do this. I did not give myself a lot of space. Oh wait, I, I know what I can do. I can still... I can do this. <laughs> All this really, really dumb ingenuitive type stuff that I honestly wouldn't be doing if I actually had been a little bit smart about some of this stuff. You can see that in a small room, this is going to heat up incredibly fast. Actually, I was just going to end up break this into little ingots, because I mean, I'm going to need it to. all my smelting now I just gotta wait for this to heat up then I'll break it down then I gotta do uh, one more mining trip <sighs> and actually that's probably where I'm gonna have to do warm this up seal off that door you know to the other part of the base seal it off make one more mining trip sell to that guy, and then finally get my larger dish set up. Although, what I could do, I could get a set, I could get my other 3x3 set ups to see what happens when I have multiple traders. And give that a shot. That I might still have the capability of doing that. Because I'm going to remove all the heavy cables on the, the other airlock and basically reclaim that space. Yeah. That's a thought. It's the angle grind. So now what I am going to do Go ahead and seal that off Perfect And I'm going 
going to go on ahead, break into this wall. I am going to break into this wall and get that back too. And I have another working airlock that I just need to pipe some heavy cables this way. Okay. You have no gold. Who needs iron? Let's give you some iron. How much copper do you have? How much copper do you have? Let's give you the little bit of copper. thriving good those shelves are in my way well I guess I'll go this way for now I need to put this gold, some of my auto lathe. You have a little bit of gold. You don't have as much gold. You need most of the silicone. You don't have much silicone. You have a lot of silicone. Just give you the tiny amount here. Uh, back to cape. Heavy cables. I need to and drill and wrench. Just and drill that away. And this can go on that. Are they not dead yet? That's insane. Okay. Uh This is a stupid as looking thing, but Yep. It's power. 
hard on. Ooh, my suit battery was slow. Okay, let's see. If I make a landing pad, it's blocked by the composite door. But I wonder if I can remove that stuff, will I be able to place it right there? Okay. Uh. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, come on. It's not going to work either. Okay, just just put stuff somewhere. I will eventually make lockers. All right. I'm still here. I'm waiting for you guys to trade with me. Okay. But no. If I remember right. How is it that I break this crowbar? Andrew, angle grinder. Ooh! I want it! I want it! I really need a jetpack! Okay, got that. Drill. Now I need a wrench. Okay. I can toss you in there. Recoup all of these cables because I, I don't need to worry about them anymore. Bar you out to get a glass sheet to then reclaim that that's probably broken to get my console. Okay, now I can wrench you down and then grind. Okay. Now. Yes. Okay. I just need to drill out a little bit of over here. So what I am going to do is I am going to go on ahead and place this whole landing pad area for another trader. So I need that. I'm 
because uh, I'm curious. I really do want to call down an another trader and see if that will work. Oh, come on now. Perfect. Oh, I need iron sheets on this one. That's steel sheets. Landing pad two. Hydration critical. Okay. That's all squared away. Oof, come on. This is gonna be awkward. I actually gotta. think about this very well. I need to fill in these holes. Oh, I should have also started charging that. Seems to work. Let's get that better. Oh, okay, I, I might need to rename the center. Okay, so it's not that. So, I can rename you? Okay, so landing pad 2. So, landing pad 2... doesn't tell me which is which. Oh, yep, now it does. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. I feel like I have discovered the greatest thing ever. Dude, this is great. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and put thing of coal there. This is why I have a lot of coal. But this is amazing. I can now call down two traders. Oh, this is great. This proof of concept is going to work now.
this is perfect. All right, so I gotta do a big mining trip. I'm gonna go on ahead and put all of that in. So what I'm going to do next time is I need to go on a yet another mining trip, and now then I need to expand this out so I can fit my medium dish. And that's damaged, of course. But maybe I should... Now, let's expand that out, fit my medium dish. I can survive off of coal power for a little bit longer. That'll be a thing to do. This is this is amazing. I could mine a whole ton of something. Call people down, sell to them. Sadly, I'm not going to have my inside trader anymore. I'm going to be going outside, but, you know, that's to be expected. How did they lay that many eggs before... Die? Look! Wait, that's been like that. Those mushrooms. Thriving. Okay, so, next time, we're going to go on a, yet another long mining trip, and then we're going to disassemble this trading pad to put the medium dish out there, because it is this tall. It's basically a 3x3, three three, so I'll disable that, put this 3x3 three three dish. Re I'll have to rewire all of this with heavy cables, and then build... Basically, completely rebuild uh, and rewire all of this. But it should hopefully be easy for me to get to stuff because I can just load it up, call people down, rename my landing pad to my 5x5 or 3x3 or whatever, whatever. And just continue on with this, so... Who makes the portable light? I need that. It's you. It's always you. But yeah, I gotta get a big mining trip done. Get, get some money. Buy a couple more alloys and ingots. And as much as I like the portable light and all of that, I, I kind of want to... batteries, which means I need more steel. So yeah, next time we're going to continue mining a little bit more, getting more materials, getting more money. And hopefully with that, we'll be able to expand, get a medium dish, Get a 5x5, five five, hopefully be able to eventually call down a 5x5 five five alloy. That would be absolutely great to have.
guess I really need. I do need to. I really need that. I really need a to tech up. I I, I like the sensor lenses. I also need to tech that up. So right now I have this really weird mixture of cables and it's gonna bite me in the butts. I'm gonna get a bunch of regular cables back over here, but I have to use a lot of heavy. Well. Hunger caution. Hunger caution. We still don't have, my mushrooms haven't fully grown yet. They're thriving. I actually got to build more of those so that I can have more mushrooms growing. All right, so next time. Sorry, chicken. Next time we'll continue mining. We'll continue expanding. And uh, hopefully see you then. Uh, we're getting there. <laughs>